A new report on the death of an unarmed black man after an encounter with police finds the officers who stopped him were wrong. 23-year-old Elijah McLean died following the confrontation in Aurora, Colorado back in 2019. Now a panel of medical and legal experts found crucial mistakes by officers and paramedics ultimately led to his death. Omar Villafranca is in Aurora and spoke with McLean's father. What must he be thinking this morning? Omar, good morning to you. Good morning. Elijah McLean's family says the report basically confirms what they've been saying the whole time, that the Aurora Police Department and medics violated his basic civil rights and they tried to sweep it under the rug. And now they want justice for those who are responsible. Stop. I have a right to stop you because you're being suspicious. According to the independent investigation, Aurora Police, in fact, had no legal basis to stop, frisk, oh. and violently restrain Elijah McLean. Oh. The findings offer little comfort to his father, Luane Mosley. He was loved, and he is very missed. He's missed. Oh, my God, he's very much missed. McLean was heading home Stop. from a convenience store in August Stop. of 2019 Stop. when he was stopped by officers answering a 911 call about a, quote, sketchy man in a ski mask. I am an introvert. Please respect the boundaries that I am speaking. I'm going home. Relax or I'm going to have to change this situation. The report found that none of the officers articulated a crime that they thought Mr. McLean had committed or was about to commit. Stop fighting us. Stop fighting us. I'm Instead, officers put the 23-year-old in a tight neck hole. We got 500 to get yep. Then paramedics sedated the 5'6", 140-pound McLean with enough ketamine for a man weighing 50 pounds more than he did all without conducting anything more than a brief visual observation. He suffered a heart attack on the way to the hospital and died days later. No justice, no peace! Sparking protests across the nation. I just wish they could have did something different. Better training, better everything, compassion. The report is calling for changes on how the police department handles use of force cases, including improving training and accountability systems. But McLean's family is demanding more. What does your version of justice look like? Fire. They shouldn't be police officers, shouldn't be paramedics, period. I think you should go to jail. You killed a young man. Yes, should be held accountable. The report also criticized the Aurora Police Department's initial investigation into the incident, saying they didn't even ask basic questions, and the questions that they were asking helped to exonerate the police officers. Now, the three officers involved were not fired for this incident. Also, the state attorney general is asking a grand jury into, to look into possible charges for those three officers. Anthony? Omar, thank you. It's just so clear. Uh, Elijah McClain should not have died. Elijah McClain should not have been stopped. Should not have nope. been stopped. And when nope. you hear, the more you hear, the worse it is. Is. I didn't know he weighed 140 pounds, but it reminds me, remember the mass shooting at the Aurora yeah. Theater, James Holmes shot 12 people, injured 70 others, yeah. and he was arrested without incident. He's in, he's in jail. Yeah. <laughs>